The coefficient of velocity, Cv, is the coefficient that accounts for the effects of frictional forces. Cv is simply the ratio of the actual velocity, which is lowercase v, to the theoretical velocity, which is uppercase v. And the actual velocity is the velocity at vena contracta, which is the section of the jet that has the smallest area and the smallest pressure. In class, we already discussed how to use Bernoulli's equation to obtain the theoretical velocity for an orifice discharging freely into the atmosphere. And after you simplify everything, you get V equals to square root of 2 times G times H. And H is simply the distance from the center of the orifice to the surface of the water. The velocity at vena contracta can be calculated from the trajectory of the jet. We let the center point at vena contracta to be the origin of the coordinate system. And we plot the x and y coordinates of a few points on the center line of the jet. So as you can see in the image, we start at vena contracta and x is the horizontal displacement of the point and y is the vertical displacement of the point. x is simply v times t and y is 1 over 2 times g times t squared which is the equation of a free-falling body that starts from the rest. And from the first equation we know that t equals to x divided by v and we replace uh, t with x over v and we get y equals to 1 over 2 times g times x squared over v squared. Then we can rearrange the last equation to get an equation for the actual speed which is square root of g times x squared over 2y. And we already discussed the equation for CV, which is the actual speed or velocity over the theoretical velocity. When we plug the equation that we derived, and after all the simplification, we get x, we get CV equals to x over 2 times square root of y times h. When we plot the experimental points in the Excel, the x value of each point actually goes to the y axis. And on the uh, x axis, we plot 2 times square root of y, y times h. And the line that connects all the points should have a slope that equals to cv or should be very close to the coefficient of velocity.